Imagine, if you will, showing up to a sales call. Now, you're in the position of the buyer, not the seller in this case. And the person that's trying to sell to you goes ahead and says, listen, I prepared for this meeting. I just have a few questions I want to ask you. And they immediately open a notebook. And inside that notebook has listed questions of what they prepared for this meeting. Now, imagine, would you do A, be like, who's this amateur? Who shows up to a sales meeting, like thinking about the questions that they're going to? Is this the first sales meeting they've ever been on? Or would you B, be like, oh my goodness, holy smack, I can't believe this person prepared for our meeting before the meeting. I would be beside myself. I would be B. I've actually been in that meeting. Now, there's not too many opportunities where I get to be the buyer, but when I am, I am blown away by the two people in my four years that have actually prepared for that meeting by having a list of questions drawn out. If you are a sales leader, perhaps you're brand new to sales, perhaps you're starting your own business, next time you're about to go into a sales meeting, I want you to do two things. I want you to number one, ask yourself, what is the objective of this meeting? What am I hoping to gain out of it? And number two, prepare the list of questions you want to ask before that meeting. See if you can start to summarize them. And when you show up to that meeting, I want to hear how effective that meeting was. Did it really make a difference? Maybe it did, maybe it didn't, and that's okay. Tell me in the comments, challenge me. Let me know that it didn't work. But if it did, I also want to hear that. What were the questions you asked from your client and how did it help you sell more faster? I want to help you and everyone else that's watching this become a sales knockout. Help and guide the entire tribe in the conversation by leaving a comment. Bye-bye for now.